I wanted to share some of the things that I did on my PC to help FC26 run much smoother and get the highest performance possible. The first thing you're going to do is right click on the Windows icon and then go to systems in here. Let's go to apps under apps. Go to startup in here. Make sure you disable any app that you do not use. Once the computer reboots, you don't want any apps running in the background. The next thing is personalization, personalization. And then on the colors, I believe uh, transparency effect, make sure that's disabled. The next option is power mode. So go to power and then power mode. Make sure power mode is set to the highest performance. Some people have highest performance. Mine says best performance. Another thing was game bar, game bar. Make sure you disable game bar and then the game mode. Make sure game mode is turned on. Now let's go to display in the display. You got to make sure that your display. So uh, let's go here. Your resolution. Make sure the resolution matches the resolution within FC 26 settings. And we're going to go to display here. Uh, the refresh rate has to match whatever monitor refresh rate you have needs to match the refresh rate inside of FC 26. Keep in mind that the refresh rate that's here, if you have FC 26 on borderless, the borderless is going to match your monitor refresh rate. Just keep that in mind. But if you have it on full screen, full screen is going to go. It's going to show up at 144. Sometimes it might show at 180, but mine doesn't show at 180 for some reason. It shows at 144, but my FPS goes much higher than like 250. Now we're going to go to graphics. So let's go into graphics and in here, make sure you add the app. So add FC 26 app to this and make sure that the GPU preference is set to high performance and it's your select your GPU and then optimize for window games. So under FIFA right here, EA play app, view properties, open folder and select FC 26.exe file, right click on it, go to properties and compatibility and then disable full screen optimization. Another thing is if the game is buggy, let's say your FC uh, 26 game just crashed, make sure you don't just close the app. Make sure you go here and then actually get out of it and then do a fresh reload every time you want to go into FC 26. I, I feel like it helps out a lot when I do this and it gets all the kinks out of the way. Another thing is make sure your controller is actually on and turned on before you even load the window app or steam, whichever, or whichever app you use to run FC 26, make sure that your controller is actually turned on and activated before you even go into the game. Once the game is loading, make sure you don't touch anything else. Don't go to the next screen. Don't do this for now. The game is so buggy. It's like, you have to be so sensitive. We're all walking on eggshell here. So you see how it loads, just let it load comfortably. Don't start clicking anywhere else. Don't start clicking the keyboard. Don't start clicking the mouse. Just be on your controller and just get ready for the game to load. Um, my game is taking a little bit longer to load because I did reset the shader cache. Every time the game, there's a new update. I always reset the, the shader cache. I've always done that for all my games. I feel like it helps out a lot. Whatever issues you're having, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to try to help you. Right now, FC has a better gameplay. It has great dribbling, great passing, but there are issues. There's so many issues within the game that EA needs to address them. And once they fix those issues, it's just going to be a way better experience overall. Like the settings, for example, my biggest issue right now is the settings resetting like randomly. So every time I load up the game, it's like a stressful thing every time to make sure because there have been many times where I'm in the game and then I'm like, wait, this doesn't feel right. So when I go check the settings, sure enough, something changed, something moved. So because my monitor is set to 180 refresh rate, this is what I get in terms of F FPS and it's very responsive. But I do notice that when I switch to full screen, the game just feels a lot much like way more. Like, I don't want to say like way smoother, but it does feel smoother when um, everything's just faster, less like sluggish, I would say, than um, than uh, when you have it on board less. Cross goal shot. We're going to let the replay ride so we can see some of the graphics. See, my grass looks beautiful there. OK, now we're going to pause the game and go into settings and hopefully we don't get some of the things that are reset. OK, 
so um everything looks normal everything looks normal okay settings did not reset let's go to display display looks good okay everything looks good so now let's change from borderless to full screen okay watch what happens to my fps watch what happens to my fps once i do that so my my refresh rate doesn't go up to 180 and i don't know why maybe it's not an option in fc26 but um maybe only if my monitor was like 240 it would show 240 but anyway and i have the unlimited frame rate because my computer can go higher than the 240 i could set it i could cap it at 240 but um i haven't noticed much of a difference whether i cap it or don't or, or not so i keep it on unlimited so now what happens when you put it on full screen your computer is like Yo, give this guy all the firepower he needs so he, that he can run this game. And I'm thinking that's why the game just feels m like much more smoother. So you can see right now I'm using uh, OBS to record the gameplay. So there's about f like 40 points or 40. I lose like about 40. Um, what are they called? 40 uh, FPS when I'm using um, OBS. Just keep that in mind. So, because normally I'm getting like 250 and up consistently. So because of um, because of uh, OBS running in the background is um, it's only stuck like this at 200, 215, 210. Borderless is basically for for you to record. Like if I'm if you're recording content, that's what Borderless is good for. And if you're streaming, Borderless is amazing for streaming. Uh, it's just provide it's like less stress on the computer when you have it on borderless but when you have it on full screen it's like all the resources everything just goes to your game so what is obs gonna run on you know what is your what is your tiktok live studio gonna run on if everything goes to and all if all the resources are going to fc26 so that's why like i'm not gonna tell you okay full screen is the best um borderless is the best because everyone has a different situation so i'm gonna stop okay so i just stopped obs and i'm gonna close it really quick okay let's go back to the game sorry full screen does that that's another thing I don't like about full screen is um, it's basically basically how the game like minimizes like that. All right, so pass the ball so we can get out of there. So you see how the FPS jumped? You see that? After I close OBS, that's what happened. I'm trying to get out of this because I'm trying to play one hand here. <laughs> so you see how much of a different like the FPS uh, went higher and and. And the game just gets more smoother. Obviously, when you have OBS recording, there's a little bit of lag. Also, keep in mind that I'm not using the source from the uh, game device. I'm using like I'm recording my screen basically, because there's a glitch when you run Riva Tuner. You have to load OBS first, and then Riva Tuner after. Because if you load Riva Tuner first, it tends to not not want to display your game um, in OBS. So that's the reason why. So I do get much higher FPS than this. And you saw that little glitch in here. There's like a little glitch that happens in these cutscenes that I haven't figured out a way to like to fix it. But I just think it's something that's in the game because, like I said, when you go back to FC 25, you don't see any of that. So it's like the weirdest thing. Anyway, we're still going to investigate, bro. That's that's what PC gamers do. We're always investigating. <laughs> the best possible way to make things work. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Ciao.